Welcome to the grand final of Leo's NAB Challenge. The MCG, the stage is set. It's the Bombers up against the power, and this is live. Yeah, it is. It's uh, the first ever live game we've done here in Leo's NAB Challenge. And, uh, yep, it's said to be a promising one. Port Adelaide up against the Bombers, of course. This game is the grand final, and it's going to be an absolute beauty. As you can see, the team's popping up there on the screen right now. MCG, we've got a big crowd in for tonight. Mostly all of the stands are full here. We've got a few seats available, but they should be filling up as the game goes ahead. And the bounce of the ball is now. Essendon v Port, grand final. This is all we've been, what we've been waiting for, isn't it, Johnny? Oh, yeah, it is. It's what all we've been waiting for, all of us commentary team. It's what everyone's been waiting for, the big grand final. You know, we didn't know who was going to win, and, um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a cracking game. And it's just all there. The first holding the ball against Matthew Lobe. Kicks it inside the 450. Bell chain these. So, a chance for the Bombers and a chance for the first goal of the day. Kicks on the way, and the pole in the don't know it, and the Bombers get the first goal of the grand final. Well, it's a great kick inside the 450. And Bell Chambies has taken the mark and he's going to... Well, he takes the shot from 30 and he puts it right through the middle. It's an incredible goal. It's an incredible kick inside the 450 and it's an incredible goal. It's a great start for the Bombers. That'll really get their confidence going. Port Adelaide have some early warning signs here in this game. Yeah, they do. Great kicking technique. And it's a goal for the Bombers and they lead by one straight kick in the grand final. And here they go again. Hand pass just missed Stanton. Trengrove bowl. Early warning signs for Port. Yeah, there are. Kicks it inside the forward 50. There's another one. There's another one. So Danaher, he has a chance to put him up two goals ahead. Exactly the same spot where Bell Chambers was and he missed it. That's a really poor miss from him. Yeah, it is. Just take a look at this kick here. He lines him up. He does take his time, which theoretically should kick the goal, but... He misses. We know he's not good with drop punts. And uh, that was a good example of that. Yeah, it was Carlisle. The shit defender. Kicks it out from the uh, goal square. It's a good kick. Port need a goal. Yeah, it's a bit of an onslaught from Essendon early, isn't it? Good kick to the middle of the ground where uh, Westhoff is standing. And he takes the mark. Four inside the 50. Well, three more or less. Kicks it long. It's going to bounce inside the forward 50. Who's going to pick it up? It's going to be the Bombers player. Monfrey's just run straight past the ball. That was pretty piss poor. Heppel took it immediately. Ball up. Electric start to the game. Tap down. Grabbed. West off. Got to get the kick away. Hog. He's an absolute hog. Yeah, he is. He needs to be getting rid of the ball or he's going to cost his team the ball. Now, oh, you said it perfectly. 3.26 on the clock. Essen kick is on the board. A good kick to the bombers. So, Danaher. Made a mistake from the last kick. He's a little bit further out, and he makes a mistake with his kick as well. So he's missed both sides of the goal here, Danaher, early on. Yeah, take a look at the kick. Doesn't look very good off the boot, does it? Nah, it doesn't. Lines him up, takes his time again, and that's come off his shin. That's woeful. That is pretty bad. Pretty bad. He's got to learn from his mistakes, and that was a mistake. Oh. Yeah, that's an understatement, that was. Three minutes to go on the board. Good kick to Ryder. Oh, Essendon player almost got up there. But that's allowed Ryder to pick up the ball. Take it immediately on the 50 metre line for Port Adelaide. So, ball up right on the 50. Tap down. Bombers got the uh, possession of the ball, but it's a ball up again. Might we have ball up frenzy here? Yeah, we might do. Yep. Three in a row. Could be four. Ball up. Tap down. Grabbed. And tackle. That could be holding the ball. Yes, it is. Brent Stanton has been caught holding the ball. Yeah, and Port need to get a goal. It's over halfway through the game, uh, halfway through the quarter almost. Good kick. And this will be the goal for Port that they've been looking for. So, gets it. And Port get a much-needed goal after an early Essendon onslaught. Yeah, they didn't kick a goal for half the quarter there, but they finally got one in this grand final. First goal of the grand final for Port Adelaide, and it's a much-needed one, and Shules converts it. He does really well. We'll take a look at this camera angle. Our pitch side camera angle is an absolute beauty. Yeah, we've got our cameraman on the field. That's an incredible view. Take a look at the kicking technique. It's pretty good from Jay Shules. And that is Port Adelaide's first goal of the grand final. Yeah, they needed it as well. 
And here go the Bombers, hand passing out of the centre square. Good evasion from Stanton. Gee, he could run all the way here, doesn't. Kicks it short, Adi Paddy Carlisle while playing Rosie Bronco. Yep, classic Adi Paddy Carlisle. He's shit. Carlisle lines him up and kicks a goal. Second for the Bombers. And that was piss poor defending. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah, look at it. He's playing way too far in fucking front. You're not that tall, mate. I know you like to uh, get the girls in your house, but nah, you're not tall and they don't like you. Yeah, they don't. He thinks he's good, doesn't he? Let's take a look at his uh, on-the-mark work. Yeah, not even looking at the ball. What an idiot. Absolute idiot. Addy Paddy Carlisle cannot play in the defence at all. Yeah, he's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Stanton, going to get the ball again. Tried to evade. Ham passes to Danaher, who ran straight into the congestion. 2.04 on the clock. Port are losing by eight points. Good evasion. Good hand pass inside the 4.50, but here's Addy Paddy Carlisle. Gee, he actually did something. Well done to him. Can Corn hold the ball? Oh, sorry, Ollie Wines. So, Ollie Wines holding the ball. That wasn't good from him. Port by, or trailing. I keep saying Port by. Yeah, marked on the fence by Addy Paddy Carlisle. So, Addy Paddy Carlisle, he's actually done something. 1 minute 40 to go in the first. Essendon by 8. 14 to 6. It's not very high scoring. Kick long was good. Good kick to Westhoff. He's got one at the top of the square. And now they're inside the square. Goes to him. Shoes. What was he doing there? I'm not sure what happened there. He should have taken the mark. Joby Watson has the ball now. Yeah, the Bombers would love a go here. Just to give him a little bit more breathing room. They're currently uh, leading by eight points with a minute to go in the first quarter. So if they can maintain this lead, it'll be good. And I reckon they will. Here's Bell Chambies. So about 55 metres out. Kicks it long. Mark in the square by Carlisle. And, well, he probably could have let that go through for a super goal because Eddie Paddy Carlisle wasn't going to do anything. But it's a goal, nevertheless, and Essendon lead by 14. Yeah, great kick. And this time, Matty Paddy Carlisle playing... You're never going to get the ball if you're playing behind the defender. And you're never going to get the ball if you're playing way too far in front. So he needs to find that middle ground, Eddie Paddy Carlisle, or he's going to do shit all for the port play. Port, port team. Yep. He's going to do shit all, and uh, Carlisle right in front of the Essendon cheer squad. Look at that. Kicks an absolute beauty. Yeah, well, pretty average goal. He's directly in front. and uh, But, nevertheless, Essendon up by 14. They could get another one here. Stanton picks it up. Does a little twirly-whirly. Hand pass off to Danaher. He's about 40 metres out. And he gets ball! Wow, that's hurt my throat. Bear with me while I take a sip of water. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been a bit ill recently. And uh, that's really caused a bit of irritation in my throat. But we're going to go on. Port would love a goal in the last 20 seconds of this quarter. Got about... I don't even know. Six inside the 50 finds Loby. So Ranger Loeb, 10 seconds in this first quarter, has to kick the goal. To keep Port in it. Kicks on the way and he misses. What a cunt. I'm saying it straight out. Has to kick that goal. And uh, let's take a look at it again. Lines him up. Takes his time. And it comes off his knee. Wow. That's uh, pretty poor. And that's going to be the end of the quarter. So, 20 to 7. Let's get down to Jonathan at ground level with the stats. Yeah, thanks, boys. I'm down here in the stat shed at ground level. And uh, ball possession was dominated by the Bombers in that quarter. 55% to 45%. Five scoring shots to two in favour of the Bombers. 3-2, 20 to 1, 1, 7, of course. Handballs were 8-2, of course, Bombers leading in that department uh, quite severely as well. Tackles are 7-8, to eight, so quite close in that department. And uh, Marks are 15-12, to 12, quite close again, and Marks are 10 each. So overall, it's pretty close in the stat sheet, but the stat that matters is the scoreline, and the Bombers are winning in that one, of course, and ball possession is uh, pretty favoured to the Bombers as well. Let's go into the player statistics. Go disposal leader for the Bombers is Joby Watson, followed closely by Ben Stanton. He's going to get those kicks out of the middle with those handball receives. Scoring for the Bombers, well, the one to kick three goals, Jay Carlisle and T. Bell Chambers, or T. Bell Chambies, as you say up in the uh, commentary box there. They have two goals and one goal, respectively. 
Let's go to Port Adelaide. Jesus, that was a voice crack. Let's go to Port Adelaide, who their leading goal kicker, sorry, their leading uh, disposal is somehow Addy Paddy Carlisle with three disposals. That's pretty piss poor from the whole team, but they are showing it around as they do. And the only goal, only goal coming from Jay Schultz, of course. Back to you guys in the commentary box. Thanks, Jonathan and Cano. What did you think of that first quarter? What are your thoughts? Well, you know, Essendon dominated the possession. Uh, they did really well, and they got on the scoreboard early, and that's what they've been known for in this uh, competition. They've known to be uh, getting on the scoreboard early, and they've been known to post big scores, and at the moment their projected score is 80. So 20 a quarter gets them to 80, and I reckon that wins them the game. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that front as well. Stats are pretty even, though, as Jonathan mentioned. Yeah, they are. Marks are 10 each, and uh, tackles are pretty even as well. Handballs are one-sided. Kicks are... Well, Bombs have three more, which is nothing at all. So it's close, but... Um, yeah, I reckon Port need to uh, kick themselves into gear here. I just don't think they're into gear quite yet. Let's get into the second quarter. Second quarter. Here we go. Bombers by 13 points. Effectively, they lead by three goals. Port need to get three goals to be in front. Hold the ball against Austin Apple. Good start for Port Adelaide. Shit start for the Bombers. Yeah, you said it well. 20 to 7. Kicks it inside the forward 53 on one. And one of them ran away. Yeah, absolutely woeful. And there's no wind to this ground, so he should kick the goal. And he does. That's an incredible kick straight through the middle. Yeah, you said no wind, so he should have kicked the goal. And if he misses, that's his own fault. So look at that. Kick from 49 metres is an absolute beauty. Just sails its way through. Essendon player probably should have got a touch to that, today, to be fair, or probably mark it. Well, we get a better angle from this view, I reckon. Cal Hooker on the goal line. He wasn't even near the ball. Wasn't even near the drop of the ball. He might have caught the Addy Paddy Carlisle virus down in the change rooms. You never know. Heppel, second hole in the ball. Wow. That's pretty fucking awful. Oh, yeah. It's awful, mate. Port go long. Good kick to Kane Corns. It was a two-on-one. Bombers player should have done better. He just stood there. I mean, that's been a uh, staple of this competition. What a kick inside the forward 50 to Shules. Cal Hooker is woeful. Yeah, he's definitely called the Adipati Carlisle virus. Shules from 10, kicks the goal. Port Adelaide get two in a row in that trial by one point. What a grand final this is turning out to be. Yeah, well, Port have come out firing in this quarter. Take a look at this from Cal Hooker. He probably should do better in that situation. Yeah, he should, and Shules kicks the goal beautifully. It comes off his shin almost. That's really bad defending from Cal Hooker, as you just saw there from the close-up view. That's a very, very close up of the face. And Schultz converts the goal. Really easy. Too easy for Port Adelaide. They've kicked two quick ones in a row and they're looking, they're going to look for the hat trick. They're going to look for the hat trick of goals. Heppel, bowl. This could be the hat trick of goals. Yeah, it could be with four minutes to go in the second quarter. They could kick three in just over a minute. Kicks it inside the 450 Kane Corns. And he was the first goal scorer of this possible hat trick of goals. He could get the first and third of this hat trick. Kicks on the way. Hit the post. Very close to the goals. But this has just hit the post. Yeah, well, it's thumped straight into the woodwork. Look at that. Bang. Post is still wobbling after that one. But scores are level. This game's getting interesting, as we say here. Yes. This game's getting real interesting. And wow, that's a turnover. Really bad kick out from the uh, goal square from Cow Hooker. Long kick inside the forward 50. Here's Cal Hooker again. So he has a chance to make up for his mistake. Yep. Has a chance to make up for his mistake with three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Kicks in the exact same position before. Pretty dangerous kick if you ask me. Maybe it was the double bluff. Joby Watson kicks it long. Good kick to Stanton. He's got three inside the forward 50. Now he's got four. Now he's got five. Now he's got six. Kicks it to the free man. What a kick. But if he kicks this, it'll be a miracle. Goes long and he misses. Yeah, that was always to the left, that one. So behind. I mean, I don't think we need to take a look at it again, but the uh, people downstairs on the TVs have put it up for us. Let's take a look at it. Let's analyse it. Well, it's straight through the point, so it's a pretty shit kick. End of analyse. Well, yep. Short and sharp, that's how you like them on this uh, commentary team. That's how we like it. We say the truth and uh, we do not decept anyone. So... Just over two and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Bombers lead by one point. Port have a chance of going inside the forward 50. And that's what they do. Horrible kick. Oh, that's probably the worst kick ever. And you heard the groan from the crowd. Yeah, you did. 
And that was a rightful groan. They had the right to groan there because that was a shocking kick. Two and a half minutes ago in the second quarter. Kicks it inside the forward 50. What a kick. Well, it was terrible defending by Port Adelaide. Danaher has a chance to put the bombers up by seven. Kicks on the way and he's missed it. What a cunt. Yep. Exactly. Misses it from 45 metres out. He should be converting those. He should be. And that's just gone straight through the points. Yeah, well, Bombers, they could be leading by two goals instead of two points. Yeah, and they were two simple goals. Well, the one before wasn't a simple goal. Forgive him for that one. They should be leading by seven. They should be leading by seven with two minutes to go in the second quarter. Yeah, Danaher should be converting those. And Porter going to go to the other end of the ground. What a mark by the Bombers defender on top of Paddy Ryder. Take a look at that replay from the Sky Cam. That is absolutely incredible. We've seen a couple of the uh, defending speckies. A couple of speckies taken by defenders. Incredible. Yeah, that was absolutely incredible. And the Bombers are going to go down the other end of the ground now. So, we went from Bombers to Port Adelaide. Back to Bombers. Look at the formation they've got inside the forward 50. Kicks into the top of the square. How's it going to bounce? How's it going to bounce? It's bouncing towards the goal! And he found a Carl Orange it through beautifully. Yeah, he does. Bear with me while I get a sip of water here. Take a look at the replay. Wow. I'm surprised he doesn't have a concussion after that one. He ran his head into the post. He was like a ball charging into a goal post. Incredible. Two on one. Bombers should have done better in that situation in the middle of the ground. One minute to go. Kicks it inside the forward 50. Two on one again. I mean, what are the chances of that? One minute to go, and Port are in front by three points. What a game this is turning out to be. The top inside the forward 50, did you look at that? Would you look at that? And then the finish was incredible. Yeah, well, the top inside the forward 50 was absolutely incredible, and Schulz puts it through beautifully. Yeah, he does. It's a great, great kick. From the uh, center inside the forward 50. Happy ball. Ah, oh, unbelievable. A couple of times that's happened today and he needs to be better. Or just drag him is the easier option. Yeah, easier and smarter option is to drag him. Don't try and teach him. It's not going to work. Kicks it inside the forward 50. Good kick. And this could be two in a row for Port if Schulz isn't an under eights. Has to kick the goal, surely. Yep, waste no time. Kicks the goal. Port up two in a row. And they lead by nine points. Well, this could be incredible. Bombers have won every single game in this tournament. And could this be the one that they lose right at the end? Well, it well and truly could be. Half a minute to go in this half. Port Adelaide leading by nine points. Can you believe it? Happy! Got to do better than that, mate. You've got to release the ball faster than that. Yeah, you do. This could be a 15-point Port Adelaide lead at uh, halftime. Well, it well and truly could be. 20 seconds to go. 18 seconds to go. Got one at the top of the square. Oh, wow. Wow. That's terrible defending by uh, the Bombers. West Top has a chance from 30. Kicks on the way and he's missed it. Big letter for the Bombers. With eight seconds to go at half time. That could have been a very, very influential goal. It could have been. And he probably should have converted it from 30 metres out. But he's missed it to the left. And the Bombers are going to be trailing by 10 points at half time. There's the siren. Port by 10. And as you can see, ball possession has swung massively. Let's get down to Jonathan at ground level with the stats. Yeah, thanks, boys. I'm down here in the stat shed once again here at ground level. And what a quarter by Port Adelaide. They lead the ball possession 54% to 46%. Of course, handballs 8-2, to two, as you can see there. Not many handballs in this game. Tackles are 7-13 to 13 in favour of Port Adelaide. Kicks are 26-33 to 33 and marks are 20-26, to 26, all in favour of Port Adelaide. Of course, the stat that matters, the scoreboard, 5-3-33 to 3-5-23. Port Adelaide winning in that department. Player statistics, disposals for the Bombers, 8 for Jay Watson, 7 for B Stanton. Scoring, 2 for Carlisle. And one for Bell Chambers. They're going to want to get more of those on the board. Let's go to Port Adelaide Disposals. Six for K Corns. 
He leads the Port Adelaide disposal count, and uh, Oli Wines and Justin Westhoff are tied for five each for the Port Adelaide disposal count. Let's go to goals. Jay Shules has an early bag of four. Four goals for Jay Shules and one for Kane Corns. Back to you guys up in the commentary box. Thanks, Jonathan, for that halftime stats wrap. Uh, Cano, what did you notice? Well, it was an absolutely brilliant corner by Port Adelaide. Absolutely brilliant. And, um, yeah, 3 5 23 for the Bombers. They kicked three points in that corner, by the way. Uh, yeah, not very good at all. Not very good at all. Port Adelaide dominated in almost everything, um, apart from free kicks against. So, <laughs> that's a great stat to point out, Cato. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, Dyson Heppel needs to be better. Or, no, let me rephrase. Dyson Heppel needs to be dragged. Let's get into the second half. It's going to be exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Let's go. I'm excited. Exciting second half. What have they got, the Bombers? They need to be good if they want to win the inaugural grand final of the Leo's Nerf Challenge ball up early. Yep. Uh, four minutes and 50 seconds to go. Well, not sure why I'm saying that now, but it's going to be another ball up. Ball up here. Tap down. Grabbed. Gobbed up, gobbled up. Holding the ball, Brent Stanton. Yes, and that's not a good start for the Bombers. 20 seconds into the quarter. Not what you want to see from your key midfielder. Ugh, not at all. It's pretty uh, unattractive, to be completely honest with you. Wines. Kicks it inside the 450 just about. It's just about on the line. Here's R. Gray. This is his first disposal of the game. We haven't seen him at all. No, it's not. And uh, no, we haven't seen him at all. Kicks it inside the 450. Maybe that's why we haven't seen him at all. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to give credit to Robbie Gray there. Because Patrick Ryder should have marked that ball. He should have just bundled his opponent out of the way. I think I agree with you. Kicks it inside the 450. Good kick. Super goal territory, I reckon. Well, he's got a 1-1 one -one in the square. Kicks it shortish. How's it going to bounce? Gee, this could be going through for a super goal. No, so it's going to bounce at 90 degrees angles. So, Porter going to get out of the fence here. Long kick was good to West off. Yep, yep. Bombers player didn't put up a challenge. Now he's got three inside the 50. Three one -on ones inside the 50. Who's he going to go to? Who's he going to go to? Goes to one of them. He goes to the worst one in Patrick Ryder. And I'm not sure why you'd go to him again after he dropped a mark. Well, after he lost a, a um, contested challenge in that previous play. Yeah, it's a bit stupid to me. So, Bombers have a chance to go inside the 15. Good kick mark. Bell Chambies has marked it. And this could be the first goal of the quarter. No, it's not. So, behind to start of this quarter... But Essendon are going to look promising. Yeah, they're looking promising early. Uh, they got they got the score, so that's what they wanted to see. Um, but yeah, here's Addy Paddy Carlisle. What can he do? What can he do from this kicking? It's a crucial kicking in the whole context of the game. Good mark. Really good mark with three minutes and ten seconds to go. So port by nine. Essendon need a goal. Kick inside the forward for these shoals. And this could be a 15-point lead. It well and truly could be. He's got a one-on-one -on -one in the square. Goes long. Goal! Sneaks it right past the post. And Porter up by 15 points. What a kick this is. From 50 metres out, basically, maybe like 49.8 metres, he kicks it and he just about sneaks it home. This view will tell more of a story of how close this really was to the post. Yeah, it will. Take a look at this. 49.9 metres out. Gee, that is centimetre perfect, as Dennis Committee once said. So, 3-6 to 6-3. It's the reciprocal of both teams here. Now, the Amsterdam Bombers need to get a goal. Twirly Whirly from Stanton, holding the ball. He tried to show off to his uh, crush, but it fucked up. Yeah. I'm not sure who he's trying to show off to. His mum, his dad, his, his brother, his sister, his, his brother-in-law. Not entirely sure. But Porter going to go inside the 50 as a result of it. Yeah. Absolutely woeful from Brent Stanton. And he could cost them a 21-point, uh, well, non-lead. Missed it. So, it's currently 16 points. And do you reckon this hit the post? Well, it could have. Let's take a look at it. Gee, it was very close. Went through the behinds anyway, so it's not going to matter. 10 scoring shots to 9. Bombers aren't out of this one yet, to be completely honest with you. No. They're hanging in on the uh, the uh, scoring shots front. But the, the actual score needs to be better. 
Yeah, it does, and this could be the start of it. Kick inside the board, pretty good. So I have to kick this goal. To get it back to a 10-point margin, kicks on the way. Good kick for the Bombers. That's good. And it's back to 10 points of difference. Really good kick. Really good kick. You don't understand how important this kick is. 47 metres out. It is an absolutely brilliant kick from uh, Carlisle. He's been influential in every game he's played. And this is a big kick. Yeah, absolutely wonderful kick. And uh, they needed that one, the Bombers. Yeah, they did. So, minute 50 to go. Here go the Bombers again, maybe. Stanton, tackle immediately, ball up. So, ball up here. Minute 45 to go. Grabbed by Tringrove and tackled immediately by Joe Watson. Ball up again. Minute 40 to go. 30 to 40 is the scoreline at the moment. Another ball up, third one in a row. Tapped, grabbed, gobbled up. We'll have another ball up. Ball up frenzy here, it looks like. And will we get another one, most likely? No, that's on the ball against Hancorns. With a minute and a half to go, the Bombers could get two in a row. Kicks it, it's on the ball to the bell chainings. Has taken a mark. And this to get it back to four points. 40 metres out, and he's missed a sitter. That had to go through for a goal. Bear with me while I take a sip. This is a poor kick. Really bad. And uh, with a minute 15 to go, he needed to kick that goal. Undoubtedly. Kick long. Good, good take. He was under pressure by that Essendon player that was behind him, but he composed himself and he took the mark. Patrick Wright has not had a good day, though. No, he's had an awful day, to be completely honest with you. He's probably been the uh, the worst of the lot in accordance with Addy Paddy Carlisle. Actually, Addy Paddy Carlisle hasn't been that bad in this game. And this could be a goal, actually. Kicks on the way from Winderlich. He's missed it. Two goals gone begging. Yeah. And uh, going back to Paddy Ryder. Hasn't taken a mark. See the Bombers playing, stretching on the bench there in the top left of the screen. But this is going through for the points. Four goals, eight. So, Bombers have actually had more scoring shots than Port Adelaide. They should be punishing them on the scoreboard. Yeah, they are. And I reckon we're setting for a brilliant last quarter in this grand final. We're set up for an absolute beauty. Eight points the difference with half a minute to go in the third quarter. If Port get a goal, they'd love it. Oh, yeah. And it would really lessen the confidence. It would really lessen the confidence of this Bombers outfit. Kicks it long! Mark. Shows to really put... A dagger in the heart of the Bombers players and fans and coaches and just everyone who's affiliated with the Bombers. Port are leading now by 14 points. Well, this is really bad defending from Essendon. They needed to shut that ball down when it was in the midfield, if not even in the defence. That needed to be shut down as soon as possible. And now Port Adelaide have a 14-point lead going at a three-quarter time. Yeah, well, not to mention they should be dominating on the scoreboard. Wow. Wow, this could be even worse for the Bombers. If Port go down inside the board, we didn't kick another goal here. Three seconds ago. The ball's got to drop. The ball's got to drop. Zero seconds. And he's marked it. Well, this is super goal territory in the grand final. Gray from 50 metres. Up. Super to end out the third quarter. It wouldn't be a grand final without seeing a super goal. Oh, this is incredible from Robbie Gray. We haven't seen anything from him in this whole game. A drop punt from 50.2 metres out. And that's a goal. And Port Adelaide have a big, big lead at three-quarter time. Wow. 23 points the difference. What a goal from Robbie Gray. Yeah, he's got ice in his veins. I mean, everyone said it. Let's go down to Jonathan in the stat shed at ground level. What have you got for us? Well, after that Robbie Gray special... Port Adelaide lead the ball possession 55%, pardon me, to 45%. Handballs are one-sided to the Bombers, but that's not a good thing for them. Port Adelaide have over doubled the tackles that the Bombers have had. Kicks and marks are being dominated by Port Adelaide. They lead plus 10 and plus 7 in that whose areas respectively. And you know what stat matters the most? The scoreboard. Port Adelaide 17455, the Bombers 04832. And as you said, boys, up in the commentary box, Essendon should be dominating more on the scoreboard. Let's go to the player statistics here. Disposals for the Bombers. Well, they've got one player in the double digits here. That's Jay Watson and B. Stanton are on 12 and 9, respectively. Scoring for the Bombers. Jay Carlisle's got a bag of three. 
Tom Bell Chambers should be kicking more accurately with one goal too. Port Adelaide at disposals. No one in double digits for them. Jay Westhoff is on eight and O'Wines and K Corns are tied for seven disposals each. And goals are, no, that's freeze. Goals, six for Shules, one for Corns. And of course, that Robbie Gray uh, super goal at the end of that third quarter. Back to you boys up in the commentary box. Thanks, Jonathan. Cano, what did you see in that third quarter? Well, I saw brilliance from Port Adelaide. That's what I saw. And I saw shit goal kicking from the Bombers, as per usual, as it's been in all of this game. And I mean, that super goal is absolutely brilliant from Robbie Gray. He goes for the drop punt. He elects for the drop punt from 50 metres out. That was incredible. Robbie Gray, he has, he might have just won the grand final for Port Adelaide. Well, the Bombers have got some real big work to do in this last quarter. Let's get into it straight away. The last quarter of Leo's NAB Challenge. This is it. And already a hold of the ball against Dyson Heppel. Unbelievably bad. Yeah, really bad. And um, uh, yeah, that's a kick inside the forward 50. Well, this could be another goal for Port. <gasps> goal for Corns. And Port are leading by 29 points. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's unbelievable indeed. That has just missed the post as well. So too close to the post for Port Adelaide. And they lead by 29 points. This game could be all over for the Bombers. Oh, well and truly could be. Heppel. Got to get rid of it faster than that. Oh, and he's injured. That's a good thing for the Bombers because he's not going to be out on the field anymore. Low B marks inside the 450 for Port Adelaide. And it's going to be a 35-point lead. Oh, God. It'll be a really bad day for the Bombers if he gets it. Kicks on the way. And he's missed it. So, five goals the difference. And... Uh, Jonathan Giles has come on for Dyson Heppel in the midfield. And that's a terrible kick out for the defence. Absolutely woeful. That summed up the Bombers' day. It, yeah, it actually has. Inaccurate kicking. And they've marked the back of the defence. So, needs to kick this better. Needs to kick this better. And he does. To Zaharakis. So, five goals in four minutes. Is it possible, Cano? Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. So, long ball down's good. They need to get a goal now, though. So, got to find a target inside the forward 50. They've got about six in there. Or seven in there, really. Kicks it under the and good kick. Danaher has to kick the goal. He's 30 metres out. He has to kick a goal. No angle to speak of. Slight wind. Two kilometres an hour. And he's actually missed it. If anything, you would aim for the right goal post, you idiot. Because the wind's blowing from the right. Oh, that's terrible. And oh, that's come off his shin. That's really bad. Four goals, nine. That summed up their day, Bombers. And they're going to lose. I hate to say it to the Bombers fans. I hate to admit it, but the Bombers are going to lose. They had a 100% win ratio coming into this game. And Port had lost two games out of the one, two, three, four, five, six that they've played. Oh, almost another leap from that Essendon defender. And Bombers have got to get out. Somehow Cowhooker managed to get rid of it. Tringo ran into trains and holding the ball. Well, three minutes ago, Bombers need six goals. Is it possible? Oh, five goals actually, correction. Five goals in two minutes and 47 seconds. Look, it's not out of the question. They've got one in the square, has to go for it. He does, he does, Eddie Paddy Carlos shit. Playing out of the position as per usual, has to kick the goal. And he does. It's not all over for the Bombers yet. They could steal this victory. This is a great kick inside the 450. Sees Addy Paddy Carlisle out of position. And he goes straight to Carlisle, who kicks a much needed goal for the Bombers. He does. He does kick a much needed goal for the Bombers. The margin's back down to 23 points. Tapped, grabbed. Got to get the kick. Kick it. Kick the ball. You idiot. Oh. This is obscene. Long ball. Marked by Big Mouth. 220 on the board. Port are going to win the grand final. Yeah, they are. Kicking it long, and I'm not sure why they kicked that ball. How's it going to bounce? How's it going to bounce? It's going to bounce out of bounds. Bear with me while I take a drink. But yeah. Port are on track 
for winning the inaugural grand final of last night's challenge, Kane Corns holding the ball. Well, that could have been a goal for him, but uh, in his old age, his legs don't work like they used to before. Yeah, no, they don't. Two minute warning on the Tissot clock. I hate to say, but it's all in vain for the Bombers now. Yeah, Port are going to be lifting their first flag um, of the Leo's Nab Challenge, the inaugural Leo's Nab Challenge. Here's Bell Chambies. Has to kick a goal. Is there any chance of trying to draw? I don't know. No, nah, that's it. Game's over. Game's over now. After that shit kick. I don't even want to look at it again. TV people, get rid of it. T five goals, ten. Oh, that should be at least nine goals, six. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Should be nine goals, six, and it should only be two points of difference. We should be, we should be seeing an exciting game right now. Except for that the Bombers have inaccurately kicked today. Yep, they have. They have. They've inaccurately kicked. And the thing is that Port Adelaide haven't. So, obviously, there's a differential there. Kick is on the 450 lobe. So, a minute to go. This is to seal the game. To seal the game. Goal! Port are going to win the grand final. And that's another goal that's been close to the post. What do you know? Take a look at this one. This is just avoiding the post. This is the uh, split image of uh, Jay Shaw's goal early on in this game. Let's take a look at this view. This will, view will paint a great picture of how close this ball got to the post. Wowee. Boy, oh boy, wowee, as BT says. And Port Adelaide are going to win this game. Yep. And they're going to win the whole Leo's no challenge. Holding the ball against Brent Sand. That summed up their day. A lot of things have summed up their day, Bombers. And uh, that's one of them. That's one of the many. So, Port, if they get another goal here, this could be something big. Yeah, it could be. You know, we came in it today expecting this to be a close game, but, well, it wasn't. It was, it was at the start, but now Port Adelaide have blown away. Yeah, they have. And this, to seal it for good, another one that was so close to the post. But it's gone through. It's just been their lucky day, Port Adelaide. It has. And, you know, despite trailing in, uh, in quarter time, they are going to win. This was extraordinarily close to the place. This is the closest one all day. Let's take a look at this view. Brilliant mark as well. And uh, let's take a look at it here. Monfries. So unbelievably close to the post. So unbelievably close. And now... The Bombers will be crying. And that's another holding the ball there. Fucking awful. Yeah, they are pretty shite. And there's 15 seconds to go. Port Adelaide are going to win. So Port Adelaide are going to win the inaugural Leo's NAB Challenge Grand Final. They're going to win it. They're going to win it. There's the siren. And Port Adelaide have won Leo's NAB Challenge. 2020, Port Slash 2021. What a performance by them. They beat the unbeaten in the grand final by 34. We got the power.